What's up, Jacob here. We are fishing some backwater, deep water canals today. The fish have seemed to be in the deeper water lately. Not completely sure why, but that's just where they've been. It is a stormy day, it's supposed to rain all day. So I'm actually the only person at the ramp right now, which I'm kind of excited about. I kind of like fishing in this weather when it's not windy and it's super cloudy. We're gonna go ahead and put the boat in. We're going after trout, redfish, snook, tarpon, and I'm just ready to get on the water. If you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind later. I appreciate all the support and let's go get to the water. All right, we pulled up for the first spot. Gonna be fishing these mangroves for a little bit. It's supposed to be pretty deep, right off the edge of these mangroves. Can I get the trout here? Yeah, the head shakes, it's definitely a trout. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good one or not. There we go. First fish on, let's go. That's pretty good trout. Just flipping the scally swim into these mangroves. It's really deep right here. It says it's like about like 14 feet deep. And it gets up to like one foot on the bank under these mangroves. So I just assumed there'd be fish under there, but let's go ahead and try to get them in. My hand. Oh yeah, that's a beefy trout. Let's go, that's a good one. Heck yeah. Beautiful trout. Skelly swim hitting, hanging right out of its mouth. Let's go, good start, good start. Barely hooked too. Came right out. What a pretty fish. What a beautiful fish. Look at those chompers. Right, let's go ahead and get a nice quick release on this bad boy. All right, we've been fishing for probably about 15, 20 minutes. So that's a good start for sure. That's a good start. Skelly swim once again. That's what I was tossing in the last video. So I just figured I'd start with it again and it seems to be working out here. So let's get back to fishing. It always seems to work out this way. Whenever there's one trout, there's more. So I'm gonna work this area for a little bit. Dang, this place looks so fishy. I think I was getting hit there. Yep, definitely got grabbed there. And I was kind of burning it too. Something wants it in there. Something wants it. That is the smallest trout I've ever seen. <laughs> I think I think it'll hit this. I just want you guys to see how small the trout that was. I have a feeling he'll eat this. <laughs> I saw him swing after it. We'll get him. There it is. Oh, he was on it. No. <laughs> Look at little. That's funny. I don't even think this is the first one that hit it. The first one is so small. That's really funny. I wonder if there's more down there and possibly any bigger ones. Oh, that seems a little bit better. Maybe not. No, he's still really small. <laughs> well, we found the trout nursery. I mean, he is a little better, but he's still a small trout. I mean, he's a little bit bigger than the last one. <laughs> still pretty small. I am curious to see if there's any bigger ones, so I'm gonna toss that for a little bit longer. Oh, I see some rain coming. Oh no, I see some hard rain coming. We are going to find shelter in this little cove right now from the rain. Well, it's raining pretty dang hard, so we're gonna go ahead and head back to the ramp. 
I haven't seen any lightning yet, so we're just going to keep on fishing. Oh, I just got hit there. Alright, looks like we might be clear of the rain for a little bit. There's a huge storm this way, but I think the wind is actually blowing that way. So this what's behind me is actually what's going to be hitting me, which looks not sunny, but it doesn't look like there's rain or any storms left. So I'm not going to head back to the ramp. I'm going to keep fishing. We're going to see if we can catch more fish and hopefully some bigger fish. I've seen a couple redfish, sort of sight casting, not really, but I'm going to throw a fluke now just to get something that's going to not just crawl the bottom, hopefully give us a better chance of catching something out here. Dang, that's a big stingray. He's missing his tail. Oh, there's three tarpon right there. Dang it, man. I wasn't even filming there, I just... <laughs> I just tied on a new lure and cast it real quick and had a really nice snook right away. He's got me in these trees right now. I don't even know if I still have them on anymore. Yeah, I still do. I still do. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. He's getting me so deep in there. He's got me so wrapped up. There's no way I get this guy off. I see him over there, but he's got me so wrapped up. Oh, he's back that way. Oh gosh, I don't know what to do here. I'm just trying to keep my rod super low so it doesn't get caught on all these trees and I'm trying to pull them out somehow. Got it. Yeah, I definitely don't have them on anymore. Oh, he's still on. He's still on. There's no way. And that that's when he breaks me off. I had him on that whole time. Dang it. i thinking now there's probably a few things I could have done better. I could have initially right from the start went and tried to get my line untangled from all those mangroves and maybe once I found him at the end still on I should have went for him instead of going for my line to try to get it unstuck there's one thing losing a fish which sucks but there's another thing of leaving a hook in a fish's mouth that sucks even more so that's that's the biggest thing I'm upset about that's unfortunately something that just happens I probably could handle that better but oh well all right we're tied back on There we go. What do we got here? I think it might just be a little snooker trout. Oh, it's a little red. Dang, his tail's blue. Oh, that's sick. This is probably the smallest red I've got. Oh, I barely have him hooked. Almost just trying to boat flip him real quick. <laughs> little guy. Cute little red. His tail looks so blue in the water. Beautiful little red. I was actually surprised it was a red. It looked like a trout, but that's pretty sick. So if I would have got that snook, I would have had an inshore slam. Let's go ahead and get this little guy back in. And the rain's back. It is 2.45, all right, I still got plenty of time. The only real things that I have to do today is some homework, but I can do that late at night. So we're gonna keep fishing. that's it for this video. I appreciate the support a ton. I know I say it a lot, but I really do. This is something that I just really enjoy doing and it's something that I would love to be able to do more. Um, life has been pretty hectic with moving my masters and just working a full-time job, but I would just, the reason I want this to grow is just so that I can do it more really. I have a ton of fun with it and I just really enjoy it. So I'm going to make sure I always squeeze in time even when life is pretty hectic. So I appreciate once again, all the support. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you and stay tuned for the next one.